Okay, so I am going to do a review on some Viking bags. My 2015 Kawasaki Vulcan 900, uh, it had some, I bought it, I just bought it. It had some, some kind of small aftermarket bags on it. Didn't really like them. They didn't really look good on it. And I don't know, just didn't really like them that much. So I was doing some, some searching around and I, I saw lots of reviews on YouTube for Viking bags. But the problem is they were all posted by Viking bags. And it doesn't mean that they're wrong or false, but it just makes me trust it a little bit less. So this is, I paid for these. There they are in the box. I already cracked it open, but I bought these based on what I could find. But this is like a straight up review. Like there's nothing in it for me out of this. And I just want it to be a, a non-biased review for anybody that's that's looking and, and is maybe questioning all of these like 50,000 Viking bags videos that are all posted by Viking bags. So anyways, here you go. So here's my bike. I, I cracked these open, but that's about all I've done. They seem to be packaged well enough, you know, just cardboard box, but divided and bagged nicely. So I'm going to pull them open and we're going to see what okay, we Okay, I got them pulled out of the plastic bags. They seem really nice. They're the, the hard, hard bags or whatever, you know, they're leather apparently. Um, but they, they look really nice. I think I got them on sale and I think I paid like two ninety dollars shipped for the, the pair of them with hardware, which really didn't seem like a bad deal. I got the large size. I forget what, what model these are, but uh, you know, pretty plain. I didn't want a bunch of, I didn't want them gaudy studs all over them or extra pouches on them or anything like that. I just want a really clean look. So one of the reviews I read on these was somebody commented that they wish Viking bags made an exact fit and not just a universal. They would have been happy to pay a little bit more to get an exact fit. And all of a sudden, I, I agree with that. And I'm a pretty handy guy. And I'm going to get this fit on here and it's going to be great. But you definitely got to earn it. Um, I, I, the, the bags seem really nice. Uh, they are universal. Uh, this piece was attached here and there were just like thumb screws. Here we go. There were just thumb screws on the inside. And so this, this would just go over. There's one on each bag and then they're Velcro. So they'd, they'd Velcro over the real rear fender with each other if you were putting them on something and not like actually attaching them, just wrapping them over the fender. So, so they came that way or in my case, I took them off and now I'm going to piece together a bunch of brackets and a whole bunch of hardware and, and washers. And hopefully in the end, they're going to fit nice and, and they will. I'll get it on there good. But, but yeah, it's, it's not going to be like a 10 minute It's probably job. really specific to my bike, but um, it had these these trim pieces right on here. And I always thought they looked a little mismatched, although there is gloss black there, but they're gloss black and the whole frame is like a satin finish. So these look a little unfinished and maybe they were on there from the factory even, but anyways, they came off and I don't need to reuse them. I'm just gonna bolt the bags right onto the two mounting holes that are here where those were mounted and uh, the bag's gonna cover it up. So it's actually gonna look, it's gonna look really good. So anyways, I've measured things out. So these are very much drill to fit type of thing. So I've got a couple holes here that I need to drill out for the top of the brackets to mount. And then you kind of make a, a U that's gonna loop down and bolt on four places. But for starters, I just need to drill out these two that are gonna line up with the factory points. And we'll go from there. So here's a test fit. Um, the bag's a little saggy because it's barely on there. But uh, the bolts are way too long. So I need to cut them down. But the holes I drilled seem to line up good. And I think it's going to work out nice once I cut these bolts. Down. So I verified that these are the right mounting points. Uh, so now I've just got these brackets on here and I've got the, the long part sticking out away from the bag to space it out um, off the bike, but uh, that's the way to do it because the bottom here, it needs to be close to the bag top and bottom so it's not crooked. So then I've just, there's no holes drilled yet on the bottom, but I drop bolts in from the top because they don't want to stay when I put them from the inside and then I'm just going to set those on there, swing it until it's level across the bottom drill out two holes and then bolt it to the bottom of the bag. Check it out. I've got one done. Um, another note, I guess I've got this strap. I need to figure out what, what happens with that. I think that wraps around the back or something. But I set it up a couple inches from the pipes. I didn't want it to get, be too close. I don't think I'm going to be in a lot of stop and go traffic, but I kind of wanted to mount these things lower. I think that looks a little better. But overall, it has a really 
really nice shape to go along with the bike. I mean, it's not perfectly even. The bike doesn't drop off quite as quick as the bags, but I'm really happy with it. And I like that I can see the paint, the white and the green stripe over the top of the bag there. So, so really happy with it. Um, it maybe would be nice if it was a little tighter to the bike, but I, I'd be a little concerned about the caliper hitting as the caliper moves up and down with the wheel. So all in all, so that's where you kind of need to watch it when you're, when you're custom mounting these things. You need to make sure that they're not going to have interference with anything. But uh, I, I won't have any passenger interference. Like I said, I really think it's a pretty nice fit. And I am shocked at how sturdy it is. Uh, <laughs> the Velcro is no joke on these things. Somebody said they wish that the bags could be left unlocked. And I don't know if those bags were different. I think it was these, but these things, the Velcro is so intense on these, I was worried when I was trying to mess around with them on the floor, I was having trouble opening them. Well, now that they're mounted and they're really on here rigid, the Velcro seems like it's going to be adequate so you don't even have to lock them. But, I mean, they're like, it's, I'm, I'm impressed with how rigid it is. I also should note that I use red Loctite on the lower and upper fastener, so it's all been Loctited. But yeah, so now it's probably gonna take me, it probably took me 20 minutes to do this first one. It's probably gonna take me, you know, like 90 seconds to do the second one, because now that I know what I'm doing, it'll just be quick. But anyways, there's, there's one of them. So here's the finished product. Of course, I haven't used these yet. I have just mounted them, but honestly, I'm really happy with these. Uh, th just the fit to the bike for being a universal bag the fit is really nice they're they're kind of bowed out a little bit which you know probably intentional like the brackets i could tell looking at the brackets they were going to be doing that but um but yeah all in all the the fit really matches the bike nicely um there again i've got them mounted just a little bit above the exhaust but i'm i'm super happy with it and i think this is a nice match for the bike the bike is a really clean look and these are a really clean bag to go along with it uh, the only fitment thing, this Velcro is just good. I don't know if I'll hardly ever lock them, and you can leave them unlocked, so that's no big deal. But the only complaint I might have, which is just not avoidable, is that when you open these, they run into the seat. So you can only open them at like 90 degrees here, which limits access mildly. I'm not going to have any trouble actually getting stuff in and out, but, you know, it, it limits it a little bit. But I can run this thing, I'm sure, without actually locking them. The lock seems to be relatively secure, but I wouldn't put anything of great value in here and trust the lock anyways. They are like a, a hard wall leather bag but it's still not secure like you know a vault or something so anyways I'll, I'll report back if i've got any updates but uh for the most part i'm just pretty thrilled with with how these fit and there again i got them on sale and it was like 290 bucks shipped so i feel like the value is is pretty dang good and uh all in all at the end i felt like the install wasn't bad but definitely expect it to be a little bit of a custom install the thing i haven't addressed yet is there's still some holes in the in the inside here where where they came with the with that hardware over there that that piece to go over the fender um i need to figure out something to to fill those but that's kind of a minor thing otherwise just really pretty impressed with how how solidly they're mounted so hopefully this helps I would absolutely buy these again, and I was hoping that was gonna be the case, but I feel like the value is tremendous. I feel like the, the fit and finish is nice on them, uh, and I think you get so much value because they are universal. If they had a specific kit for every bike, you probably would pay a fair amount more. So anyways, that's my hopefully relatively quick rundown of the install. Hopefully you found it helpful, even though it wasn't exactly an install video. Hopefully you found it helpful, and if you purchase these, Hopefully it'll help you know what to expect and to hopefully get through and get them installed on your bike and get them fit right. And hopefully you'll enjoy them as much as me. Thanks for watching.